Hi everyone, my name is Magali. I'm here with At The Fountain, which is a ministry under the umbrella of Flowing Farm Ministries. And today I'm gonna to share a short word about prayer. So you see, sometimes we struggle with prayer because we don't think we know how to pray. And the reason we think we don't know how to pray is because we actually don't know or understand the definition of prayer. Now the dictionary defines prayer as a request for help or expression of thanks addressed to God. But a more simpler definition of prayer is communication with God. When we pray, we are simply talking to God, just like we talk to each other on a daily basis. When we pray, we are conversating with our Heavenly Father. That's what we're doing, we're conversation, conversating, we're having a conversation. When we pray, we're not only asking for help, but we're also thanking God, praising God praying for others and you can find that in Ephesians 6 18 we're also listening for his still small voice so when we're praying we're not simply uh, um, asking God for this and asking God for this for healing or whatever we are thanking him praising him we're praying for others we need to pray for others and we are, we also have to take time to listen for his still small voice Prayer is our outlet to communication with God, to getting plugged in with God. Why is that? Because prayer is powerful. Where would we be without prayer? You know, through prayer, we grow closer to God and he draws closer to us. Prayer opens up our heart to God. Prayer relaxes us. Isn't that amazing? When you're feeling stressed out and tired, all you have to do is pray and prayer will relax you. Prayer transforms us. That's amazing. Prayer transforms us because as we're growing closer to God and he's drawing closer to us, we're being transformed. We are being transformed as we pray and read his word, which is why we should begin our day with a prayer of thanksgiving. Do you wake up and say, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you, Jesus, for breathing your breath of life into my lungs. Thank you, Jesus, for letting me see another day. That's what we have to do. We have to break, wake up and thank him. We have to always be filled with thanksgiving. We have to pray without ceasing throughout the day. And you can find that in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. And now praying without ceasing doesn't mean that we're constantly, like we're praying 24 seven. No, but we pray uh, when we take a shower, we pray while we're doing the dishes, we pray while we're cleaning. You know, if, if a problem arises or something happens, we pray, we speak to God, which that, that's what prayer is. Is we talk to him so we can do that throughout the day we can pray for others throughout the day and then we should end our day with prayer we should always end our day with prayer so I know a lot of people don't have time to pray morning throughout the day in the evening I mean even if you pray five minutes that's all that matters that you're giving him your time you're giving him your attention you're making him your focus because we have to pray our prayers can be short and simple or long and simple. But the key word there is simple. Prayers don't have to be long and sophisticated or high sounding. Okay. Yes, they can be long, but they don't have to be sophisticated. They don't have to be high sounding. They can be simple. God loves our simple, heartfelt prayers. When praying, I was taught by Pastor Fred Sanchez to begin with First, the Lord's Prayer, which you can find in Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Second, to ask for cleansing so that we can enter into his presence with a pure and clean heart, not an offended or bitter heart. Okay, so this I'm sharing what I was taught when I first got saved. Third, he taught me to welcome the Holy Spirit's presence. And fourth, to worship and praise God. We always have to worship and praise God. When we kneel down to pray, we can't just um, ask, ask him for this. You know, just sit there and request everything that we can think of. We have to praise him. We have to worship him. We have to bless God. Um, we have to let our request be known. That's another thing we have to do. And of course... I go, just like we do first thing in the morning, we have to come to him with thanksgiving. Always being thankful because we are nothing without him. We are no one without him. And without his sacrifice and shed blood on the cross, where would we be today? 
ask yourself that question where would we be today without his sacrifice and his shed blood on the cross he sacrificed for us so why can we not spend time even if it's five minutes in the morning five minutes in the afternoon and five minutes in the evening it doesn't have to be like an hour thing some of us can pray for an hour some of us cannot but as long as we focus on him as long as we give him that time a day even if it's five minutes start out with one minute you know work work your way up to praying and last but not least the last the he also taught me how to listen for the lord to still small voice because we are always so busy we are always busy we live these busy lifestyles and we are always rushing we never take the time to listen so even when we do pray are we truly listening for his still small voice are we truly listening for his still small voice because there's a lot of times when i myself lock myself here in my office my prayer closet and i pray and i will ask for this and for healing for you know for either myself or anyone else and what happens after a while i'm not even taking the time to listen when i should always take the time to hear his still small voice we all have to take the time to hear his still small voice so let's pray and I'm not saying telling anyone that they have to pray the way I was taught. That's okay. You can pray however you want to pray. I was just sharing how I was taught to pray by Pastor Fred Sanchez from Faith Assembly of God. So um, you can pray however you want to pray. You can take these prayers and just turn. You can just turn it around and and do it in whichever order you feel like praying. But my point is, pray pray seek the lord seek his face don't ever ever go a day without praying and we've all done that we've all done that we're all guilty of it of waking up getting busy and forgetting to pray going to bed and we're like i'm so sorry lord but once that becomes an everyday thing then we know we have a problem we know we have an issue we know that we have to start focusing again on jesus christ on our Lord and our Savior, because we have to pray and read the word every single day, especially in this ugly world that we're living in, in this chaotic world that we're living in, in this craziness that we're living in. We have to be prayed up because we never know when we're going to hear that trumpet. Okay, well, I hope this was a blessing and encouragement to you and to anyone who listens. May God's blessings be upon you and your entire family. God bless you and thank you for listening.